Well, thanks for joining me in the Azure Communication Services video library. My name is Dan Walleen. I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft. And in this video, we're going to talk about how you can add calling functionality into your Android apps. So let's jump right into a demo. So in this demo, we're going to look at the UI library for Android and specifically at using calling composites. And you can see a link to the quick start if you want to go through this yourself. Now, Inderpal is going to go ahead and do this demo for us. So I'm going to transition over to him and he'll show you how to get started. Hello, everyone. My name is Inderpal. In today's session, I will go through Azure Communication Services UI library quick start to build a sample application to join existing Teams call. ACS UI library is an open source library and the code for this repository can be found at this link. Before building application, we need to have an account with Azure Communication Services so that we can create identities for a user as well as we need to have Android Studio installed on our machine. Now we will follow the instructions from Quick Start to build a sample project. The first step is to create an empty activity project. The minimum version supported by UI library is API 21. The code snippets in a quick start are provided for both Java and Kotlin. The suggested name for the project is UI library quick start with a package name com.example.ui library quick start. I'm going to choose a language Java with the minimum SDK version API 21 as shared in this screenshot. And after this, I will click on a finish button. So let me open Android Studio. I'm using a latest version of Android Studio. That is a 2021.2.1. I will click on new project. As per quick start, I will choose the empty activity. As per the quick start, I'm going to name the project as UI library quick start. And I'm going to choose the language Java and minimum SDK API 21. I will press finish button to include dependency of Azure communication UI calling library. Let me copy this line of code and I will paste it to the project. The next step is to add URL for Microsoft device SDK for Maven. After adding these two dependencies, we need to uh, sync project with Gradle files. A button will automatically come when any changes will happen to Gradle files. And we can also go to File, Sync Project with Gradle files. The next instruction is to add a button to Activity Main to start a call. I will copy XML code and will paste it to my resource layout activity main. Now we need to copy the code for main activity to start a call. I will go to main activity and will paste this portion of code. The instructions in this quick start are to join a group call. We can see this by call composite group call locator. Our requirement is to join a Teams call. So I will scroll down to object model and inside the object model, we have a call composite Teams meeting link locator. So I will go to this portion of a code and will copy it for Java and will paste it to and will replace it with a group call locator. I need to import namespace for call composite teams meeting link locator. I will select Inderpal as display name. To generate a token, I will go to Azure Communication Services at Azure portal and will click on identities and user access token. Next step is to select voice and video calling and click generate button. So this token is valid for 24 hours. Let me copy this token and paste it in fetch token. I provided the value for user access token and my name is entered into a remote options. Now the next step is to get a Teams meeting link. I have an ongoing call going on. I will click on people, 
share invite and copy meeting link and will paste it to my call composite teams meeting link locator. The next step is to build a project. The first step is to accept audio permission and a Bluetooth permissions to for Bluetooth headsets. Let me change the audio device to speaker. I can turn on my video by accepting the video permissions. Now let's request to join a Teams call. As we requested to join Teams call, by default, we will be in a lobby to join a Teams call. As you can see, Indrapal is in lobby to join the call. Let me accept. As you can see, the remote participant is visible on a call. If remote participant turn on the audio, you can see the speaking indicator is visible for a remote participant. The list of our participants can be seen by clicking on this icon. The UI library also support a screen share as well as a Bluetooth headset support as well as call on hold. So if I share my screen from Mac, You can see that screen share is visible on UI library. UI library support theming for primary color as well as a localization in 13 languages. To see a list of complete supported features, please visit uh, use cases. Use cases include a customized view for a tablet as well as a data injection for local and remote participant views. ACS UI library is an open source library. To share your feedback or thoughts, please open an issue in GitHub public repository. And to visit list of known issues, you can look at wiki page. Thank you. Well, thanks, Inderpal. Great job on that demonstration. So I hope that gives you a really good idea about how you can add calling functionality into your Android apps. Now, you can do this for other scenarios as well. So check out some of the other videos in the Azure Communication Services video library and we'll see you in the next video.